Okay, so this question is a good example of where you'll have to use a combination of two different coordinate systems in the same question. You start off with a plane going in a circular loop, <coughs> shown by the orange path here, and then you're told that at a certain point, point P, you're told it has a horizontal velocity of 600 kilometers an hour, no horizontal acceleration, um, and then you're told that it's being observed from point zero, point O, and from a radar. And that radar is measuring its range, its radius, and its elevation, its theta angle. And based on the, you're asked to calculate from the speed and uh, knowledge of the motion on the orange path, what is r, r dot, r double dot, theta, theta dot, and theta double dot for this, uh, uh, with respect to point O. So, the key of course is to break into two parts, use normal tangential coordinates to find V and A to begin with, and then translate that into polar coordinates. So starting off with normal tangential, you know, this is a circular path, you're told there's no tangential acceleration, so the AT component is zero, but of course because you're going on a circular path you're going to have an acceleration component towards the center of the circle. So. In terms of the velocity, the velocity you, you use your factor divide by 3.6, and you get the uh, the speed of the um, the aircraft at point P in the in the tangential direction. And the normal component is simply that divided by the radius of curvature. You're told the radius of curvature is 1,200 meters, so you can find the acceleration in the vertical direction. Now, once you have those two components, you can then start to translate into polar coordinates. And you do this for one vector at a time. And to start with, you do it for the velocity vector. So I'll just... Um, if I so we have the velocity vector in blue, coming from the um, circular motion. And you can just imagine that this is taken from this circular path here, and that's point P. And now we're um, decomposing this into the tangential, so the um, R and the theta components. So, first of all you want to find the position, the location um, that, um, of the, the, the point P with respect to O. So remember that this is O. And to do that you need to know the, the R and the theta. So the R can be calculated from the knowledge of the geometry of the question to be this, and the theta again can be calculated fairly easily to be 21.8 degrees. Now, in, term, in order to get the two components of velocity in polar coordinates, you have to decompose the blue vector into these directions. So, the r dot is equal to vr is equal to v cos theta. So it's v that you've computed from above, cos theta is this one. And that gives you 154.7 and because of the definition that is directly equal to r dot. For theta dot, now using the definition of v theta, since v theta is r theta dot, then theta dot is v theta over r. And this is equal to, well v theta is v sine theta, so v theta, this one, is v sine theta and it's negative, it's in the negative direction because it's going in the opposite direction to the unit vector of theta. So v theta itself becomes minus v sine theta divided by r, and that can be worked out to be as follows. Okay, so now we do the same thing for the acceleration vector. So remembering from the original motion that <coughs> the aircraft going on its circular path, and at point P, and point O, then the acceleration is of course directed to the center of the circle and at this point it's vertically upwards. So in exactly the same way as we did for the velocity we're going to decompose this into the r and theta components so we have a r being this section and a theta being this section and we relate that to the definitions of a r and a theta that we've derived in class. So for a r, the radial component of acceleration this is equal to a sine theta because this is a and the sine of theta is this one, and it's in the positive direction. And this is equal to the definition that we've derived in the past. And this can be rearranged to make r double dot the, formula, the subject, 
that can be computed using the values that we already know to be as follows. So our, our value for r double dot is calculated as 12.22 meters per second squared. In exactly the same way we do then for a theta. A theta, this component is equal to a cos of theta, and this is equal to the definition that we have for the a theta component of acceleration in polar coordinates derived in class. And again, this time we make theta double dot the subject of the formula, and we substitute everything in. a cos theta 23.16 cos 21.8 minus 2 times the values of r dot and theta dot that we computed previously divided by the total radius of um, p from o. This then gives the answer just above zero, 0 0.037 radians per second squared. And that's it.